Hey designers, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll show you how you can create these nebula backgrounds for your next UI design project. Let's dive right in and get started. You want to start with a base design already created or you can start with a blank artboard as well. The first thing to do is to add a background gradient to your artboard. Move one of the anchor points to where you want your nebula's center to be. So I'll move it to the top right and extend the other part to somewhere in the middle of the artboard. Now make the center stop to a very dark color. It's an almost black color. And we can change the other stop to a dark blue. You can change it to some other color that you want your nebula to be as well. Great. The next thing we want to do is add a starry background to this artboard. You can go to websites like Pexels or Pixabay to get royalty free images. Just search for a starry night image and you'll find great results. I'll leave the image that I'm using in the description. Move this image into your artboard and let's make it work with our gradient. Change the images transfer mode to color dodge. Increase the highlights to increase the intensity of the stars. Reduce the shadows to make the image darker. Change the temperature and tint to match the color of your gradient. Finally, reduce the exposure a little bit. Feel free to adjust all of these settings you're liking. You don't have to use the settings that I'm using. Great. Now that we have our stars, let's add a new rectangle layer to our artboard and make it the same size as the artboard itself. Now let's move the rectangle to be above the image, add a gradient to this rectangle and add a bunch of stops to your gradient. Now change the position of the first stop to 0%, the second one to 25%, third one to 49%, fourth to 50%, fifth to 51%, sixth to 75% and the last one to 100%. Change the gradient type to radial. Now change the position of your radial gradient around to form a shape that you want your nebula to be. Let's add some color to our gradient. Change the first top to a light blue at 10% opacity. The second stop to a much richer blue at 25% opacity. Change the next three stops to be white. Keep the third and fifth stop at 50% and the fourth one at 100%. Now you can add a pink fill to the sixth stop, keep it at 25%. And the last stop can be a dark pink at 10% opacity. Great, that is our base nebula. Change the size and position according to your liking. Once that is final, duplicate the layer and let's edit the gradient on the newly created layer. Remove the first and the last top and change the opacity of the two end colors to 0%. Take the stop at 51% and change the color to a bright yellow. Also increase the opacity. This will add a nice shine to your nebula. Perfect. Let's create one last duplicate and add a layer blur effect to this. Increase the amount to 32. And there you go, you have just created a fully editable nebula for your next UI project. Make sure to check out the community file in the description. It has four high quality nebula designs that we have created, completely free to use. Thanks a ton for tuning in. Make sure to like, subscribe for more design insights. Until next time, happy designing.